guys i hope all is well so today's video i'm going to be doing a autumn winter haul in association with westfield london i've done quite a bit of work with westfield over the last year i've done a few posts on my blog if you wanted to check them out they will be linked below but basically they asked me this time to do a haul of some things that i bought at the shopping center so westfield london is based in shepherd's bush and there's also another one in stratford which is westfield stratford both of them are pretty easy to get to you can just get the train or the tube but before i set off i had a little look on the online product search tool to get myself some inspiration of shops that i actually wanted to go to i feel like when you go shopping it's always a good idea to have a plan of action especially at big complexes like Westfield London there is tons and tons and tons of shops and there's no possible way that you can go to them all so by using Westfield's online product search it means you can have a little look of what is in the shops before you actually go before you waste all your time looking in shops and not finding what you're actually looking for so with my list in tow I decided to set off up to London and obviously I'm like most people I like singing in my car like I can't sing like I'm completely toned out gonna take a lot to take me away from you Westfield London has so many different shops around there is literally tons and tons and tons of variety. They have like a sort of higher end kind of boutique-y kind of part which is called The Village and then they have all the usual suspects on the high street. I also really like about Westfield they have a lot of beauty boutique kind of things. They have a Kiko and Inglot. Mac and there's a Charlotte Tilbury one coming which I'm super excited about. I love me some detail. This video is going to be focusing on fashion, specifically personal style. So I bought a lot of stuff that I really really love. Stuff that I absolutely just saw in store and I was like yep Yep. First stop on I my need. plan of action was Topshop. I love me some Topshop. There was loads of stuff in there that I really liked. There's lots of really cool like luxe pieces, lots of faux fur, which I absolutely love. Um, There's lots of glitter, lots of sparkles, lots of knitted jumpers. First thing I got is this pink jumper and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's this really cool kind of like oversized fit with like a boxy loose knit. I love the colour. I don't normally go for pink, but there was something about this kind of like really baby pink that I thought would look really good with a pair of painted or leather trousers. I really like the oversized holy knit as well like I think it has like a very girly but also a kind of rock and roll kind of edge. So I then got this choker. I just think it's a really cool statement piece like it would look really good with like a plain black dress or a plain black top. To be honest I'd probably wear it with this outfit. It's quite dramatic and very over the top but I think that's the beauty of this. I think it could be worn with like a very simple outfit just to kind of pop. So next I went to office to buy myself some boots because what is autumn winter style without a pair of boots and I'm really in love with these shoes. I think they're really really cool. There was a girl in there who actually followed my blog and I completely forgot to ask her her name because it was so busy but I decided to get these boots. They're these gold stuff ankle boots and I think they are so gorgeous they're so like luxurious I think because it's like more of a weathered gold I don't know if you can really tell on camera like it looks a bit yellow on camera but it's kind of like a battered tarnished kind of gold color I love 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 all this studded detail I think it looks awesome I also really appreciate the heel height they're not too big and not too small I feel like sometimes when I wear too much of a higher heel they're just not practical and this is a good low everyday heel really nice statement piece and I would totally recommend checking these out did actually try a lot of different pairs on in store I think that's the best thing about going shopping to an actual shopping center because you can actually try different things on rather than having to buy it and then end up having to return a ton of things I actually needed a size up in these shoes and if I bought them online I wouldn't have been able to do that so quickly so I'm super happy that I got these in store I bought this really cute little furry pouch which I love I think it's so cute I'm not really like a purse person purse person this was like one of those things that was by the checkout and so while I was there I was like oh that's really cute let me get that I'm a big fan of faux fur if you haven't already guessed and I have a coat that I'm gonna show you in a bit but that is just like the best faux fur coat I've ever seen in my whole life the next thing I got is this frilly shirt and this is just like a long sleeve um, frill detail polka dot shirt and I think it's so cute. I thought it'd be really nice for layering and also just to be worn on its own. I love the kind of little house in the prairie, kind of masculine but also still really girly and really fun. So by this point I was getting a bit tired so I thought it was about time I went back and dropped my bags back at my car. Having my car so close was really useful because I just had to just go chuck all the stuff in my car and forget about it rather than having to lug it all around all day and then go all the way home. That was really useful because I did keep going back over and over again. So I decided to regroup and sit down and have some lunch. I decided to go for Tost. There is so much options at Westfield for food. I personally love Tost because I do love a good salad. I love salads that have like loads of stuff in it. Like I don't like a wimpy salad. So I decided to have the halloumi wrap without the halloumi which sounds weird but basically it's just like a roasted vegetable wrap um, and it's so good. There's so many food outlets in Westfield London and not your like average shopping centre fair. They have Fur, Byron, Oaxaca. There is loads and loads and loads and loads of different restaurants there. Like I feel like going to Westfield London is a bit more like a day out than actually just like going shopping because everything is in the same kind of 
space. After my little lunch stop, I decided to go to New Look and I ended up buying quite a lot of stuff from New Look. New Look was probably the best place that I visited in terms of like autumn winter stuff. I have a really strong autumn winter range and there was a lot of stuff in there that I really wanted to get but I was like no I'm gonna wait for it to get a little bit colder but I did buy a few autumn staples. First up I got myself some faux leather leggings. I love me some faux leather leggings. I, I was doing a lookbook the other day and I wanted to wear my leather trousers but I couldn't find them anywhere so god knows where they've run off to. This is a really nice alternative to black skinnies. I love wearing them on nights out with a pair of black heels but they're just also a really nice kind of different texture to add to like an autumn winter look. These are also the petite ones so they look really flattering on. I didn't get this from New Look but I thought I would show you anyway. This is a huge roll of tape to do all my returns with. I have so much things to return. I got this cute forest green beanie which I think is adorable. I actually saw one of the mannequins wearing this and I was like hmm. I actually just asked one of the sales assistants where it was and I just picked that up because I think it's a really nice colour and I love fluffy bubble hat. I'm a real hat person if you guys didn't know. <laughs> then I got this jacket which is a faux leather leopard print fur trimmed jacket. I absolutely adore this form. It's like a bomber kind of style. Very kind of oversized and chunky. It's actually extremely heavy as well. The girl at the checkout was like I didn't realise how heavy this jacket was and I was like yeah it's pretty heavy duty. The collar is detachable so it's like two jackets in one which is always a bonus but I really do like the faux leopard print. I think it just adds something to it. I also saw a jacket like this in Topshop for like twice the price. Price. So this one was pretty expensive. It was like £40, but the one in Topshop was probably about 65 When I saw this, I knew I needed it in my wardrobe. I would recommend sizing up if you're planning to wear it in the winter just purely because, you know, like when you wear like a jumper or like something a little bit like thicker, especially when you're layering in winter, getting your coat a size up or even a couple of sizes up really makes all the difference so you're not ending up walking around like this. You know then I went to Bershka. I don't know how many people know about Bershka, but it's kind of like... A little bit like Zara, but at like a lower price point and very more youth focused. There was actually quite a lot of things that I liked in there, but I ended up going for this Metallica t-shirt just because I really liked it. I do actually like Metallica. I went to see them like a couple of years ago and it was amazing. I have a few Metallica t-shirts. I actually bought another one from Urban Outfitters, but I'm planning to do a DIY based on like band t-shirt. Um, so I decided to get this one. Although I love Metallica and I think it's a great band, I think it's really funny how they license so much of their name to like different brands. I saw something in Topshop with Metallica on. I saw something in H&M with Metallica on. And then obviously I bought a top from Urban Outfitters, which also has Metallica on. Next I went to Urban Outfitters. I love Urban Outfitters, especially the one at Westfield London just because it's really nicely laid out. It's very big, very spacious. It's got a pretty chill and calm environment, which I really appreciate. The aesthetic of the whole shop is really, really nice. I love the visual merchandising. I love the way they lay things out. Just everything seems to look really nice together. And like, there was so much stuff that I saw in Urban Outfitters and I could have bought way more. I picked up this t-shirt. I actually already have a Master of Puppets t-shirt, but in that one, I have like the sleeves cut off it. So like I was saying, I'm gonna do a little bit of DIY on this and customize it a little bit to make it a bit more me. The next item is my most favorite thing from this whole haul. I don't know how other people are gonna feel about it, but I think that's the thing about personal style and choosing your own fashion choices is that it's like, if you love it, then that's cool. Like it doesn't matter if it's on trend or if other people like it, if you get what I mean. It is this amazing faux fur camo coat. Zoe actually saw this and she was like, that is the most you coat I've ever seen. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's nice. So then I went into the store and I saw it and I was like, yep. I actually put this on hold in the store because I didn't want to buy it and then see another coat that I liked even more than this. But the whole day I was like, I need that coat. That's the one that I want. And because I put it on hold, it meant I didn't have to like risk going back and it not being in my size. Just a really beautiful coat. Very me, very my kind of style. So far is a huge part of my autumn and winter style. It's definitely something that I would say personifies my kind of style. I think that's really telling when people can kind of pick stuff out in shops. I get it a lot. Like I'm walking around different shops and I see something and I'm like, oh, so-and-so blogger would like that or so-and-so blogger would like that. Especially when people have really strong personal style that you can just kind of get and you know that someone would like something. It was pretty expensive. I think it was like 160 pounds, but it's gorgeous and I just love it. And I just think it looks really cool and really fun. And I just, yeah love it. <laughs> I can't really say anything else apart from that because I So just there do. we go, that is my Westfield London haul. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really love Westfield London. I think it's my favourite out of Westfield London and Westfield Stratford. I feel like going to Westfield London is like a day out. Like there's so much to do there. The shopping centre itself is really well laid out, really spacious, really nice shopping experience but not like too close so it feels cramped. There's so many restaurants, so many cool bars, so many little bits and pieces to do. They always have little events on. When I was there they were having a student event for like 20% off loads of stuff and like 
Spotify was there and American Eagle was there. I would really recommend using their product search tool if you're kind of wanting to go shopping but you don't 100% know what you want to get but also kind of want an idea of like an action plan of places to go or things you want to buy. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this haul. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll speak to you guys in my next video. I love you guys lots. Bye!